Albright hosted Norwich in the school's first ever NCAA home playoff game on Saturday in Shirk Stadium. The Lions emerged with a dominating 49 to nothing victory over the Cadets as freshman quarterback Mike Knight threw five touchdown passes and accounted for six scores. Albright, which improved to 10-1 on the season, wasted little time in getting on the scoreboard as it took the opening drive 52 yards to the end zone. Knight found Vinnie Williams on a 47-yard completion, which took the Lions to the Norwich six-yard line, and Knight capped a drive two plays later with a six-yard scoring run. Norwich drove to the Albright 24-yard line on its first possession, but Steve Barroso blocked a 41-yard field goal attempt to end the threat. The Lions responded two plays later when Knight connected with Gerard Gaynor on a 74-yard scoring pass that increased the Albright lead to 14-0 with 9.50 to play in the opening quarter. Barroso recovered a fumble on the Cadets' next drive, and Knight connected with Williams on a 23-yard scoring strike three plays later to increase the lead to 21-0 with 8.08 to play in the first quarter. The Lions increased the lead midway through the second quarter as Knight found Gaynor from 16 yards out to push the lead to 28-0 with 6.54 to play before halftime. Albright was not finished with its offensive assault in the first half as the Lions went 34 yards in four plays capped by Knight connecting with Williams on a seven-yard touchdown to give Albright a commanding 35-0 lead at halftime. Norwich opened the second half with a 17-play, 56-yard march, but it ended when quarterback Philippe Hazanet fumbled on fourth down and the Lions regained possession. Chris Dawson rumbled for 20 yards, and Knight hit Williams for 19 yards and then connected with Malik Jackson for a 17-yard scoring play to extend the Lions' lead to 42-0 with 2.18 remaining in the third quarter. Albright's final touchdown came on a 54-yard scoring run by quarterback David Gaverlaw to give the Lions a 49-0 lead with 9.16 to play. The Albright defense turned away the final Norwich scoring opportunity of the game by stopping the Cadets on a fourth down play from the Lions' five-yard line. Albright advances to the second round of the NCAA playoffs where it will meet top-ranked Mount Union on November 28th at Mount Union Stadium at 12 p.m. You know, um, this team is just so, so together, and we keep, we keep coming out to fight every single week, and um, every practice, we, we, we go hard at practice. Uh, it's just an awesome feeling that all the hard work is actually paying off. You know, I can't, can't express it any other way than, than it's just awesome. We knew they were a tough team. I mean, everybody that makes the playoffs is a tough team. They won their conference just like we won our conference. Uh, I mean, we got to play football at the end of the day. We put our pads on, we're man against man in the Thunderdome. Two men enter, one man lead. <laughs> you can't get knocked out in the first round. When I say go the distance, you can't get knocked out in the first round. You know, you've got to match punch for punch, blow for blow uh, on, on a team like this. Because if you don't, they're going to avalanche you with momentum. You know, and that's what you've got to prevent. And uh, you just got to keep coming back and keep fighting and um, control what you can control. And um, you know, if you do that, you got a chance. What I told our guys is this: is that you know, look, we've earned the right to be here. You know, by winning our conference and, and getting the AQ, but so have 32, 31 other teams earned the right to be here. You know, and Norwich earned the right to be here. They did what they had to do to win their conference and get here. We did what we had to do to win our conference and get here. Mount Union did what they had to do to win their conference and get here. So everyone's kind of starting at ground zero when you, you know, because everyone's on the same page, right? And everyone has a one in 32 shot uh, of winning, of winning this thing. And at the end of five weeks, 32 teams, only one of those teams, you know, ends uh, their season on a win. Everyone else ends their season with a loss, all 31 other teams. And so it's, it's, it's five weeks of Thunderdome. You know, uh, two teams enter, one team leaves. And, um, you know, and again, to be able to go the distance, you got to match blow for blow and punch for punch. And, and I'm using this obviously not literally, um, but, um, you know, this is, it's got to be a physical game. And as you continue to play into November and December, you're going to start playing in, in the snow and everything else. And, you know, in my experience, the most physical teams advance because you got to be able to run the ball and you got to be able to stop the run if you're going to have a, an opportunity to advance in a tournament like this against teams that are that good.